Hey everyone, welcome to another endgame study. This one is white to move. As always, pause the video, try to solve it on your own, and then when you're done, we will try to work on it together. So first question to ask here, who's playing for the win? This is a weird puzzle because I look at it and I see no the I, I, I see no way that white can win. On the other hand, I see no way for black to win. Like like king to b7, how the heck can black ever win this? But if we go rook a5, I, I don't see how white ever wins this. So this puzzle is extremely mysterious to me. I must be doing something fundamentally wrong here. I don't understand. Uh, I just I don't understand. Well, King B seven looks like the only move. Is this not even an endgame study? Every now and then, there's like a puzzle in the book that's just like random. Okay, now now it all makes sense. All right, uh, if we queen rook check. I'm sorry, it took me. I don't know why I didn't see that, but I didn't obviously. Ah, uh, but okay, it's stalemate at the end. So basically, we queen, rook check, king c8. Rook takes queen, e6. This is what makes it interesting. King takes, stalemate. Now it all makes sense to me. Took me a while for some reason. But yeah, that's the right answer. So that's a cool little stalemate at the end. This was a weird one, though, because I, I couldn't figure out how black had any chance to win this. I, I, I just totally didn't see this for the first minute. But yep, that just about does it. So thanks guys for watching, and I will see you tomorrow with another endgame study. Bye-bye.